As November fast approaches, gamers everywhere will be making a choice between Sony's PS4 and Microsoft's Xbox One. Over the next few weeks, we'll be breaking down everything you need to know about both machines and bringing you all the information you need to decide where your money goes. This week, we take an in-depth look at the technical specs of both machines. First, let's look at price. The PS4 will cost you $399.99 in the US and £349 in the UK. But in comparison, the Xbox One will set you back $499.99 in the US and £429 in the UK. A difference of $100 or £80 depending on territory. But what do you get inside your shiny new box? Well, both machines come with a Blu-ray drive, something that was missing from the Xbox 360, which will allow you to play games and watch Blu-ray films wherever you want. But don't worry, it will also play all of your old DVDs as well. Storage-wise, both machines will come with a 500GB hard drive. However, the PS4 has the upper hand, allowing users to remove it and replace it with bigger storage options, something which is not available on the Xbox One. Moving on to RAM, the PlayStation 4 has 8GB of GDDR5 RAM, while the Xbox One has 8GB of DDR3. But what does that mean for gamers? Well, GDDR5 RAM is more suited to moving large pieces of data due to a higher bandwidth at around 170 gigabytes a second, whereas DDR3 moves small bits of data very quickly. However, combine this with the Xbox One's 32 megabytes of EDRAM, and both machines should be able to process around 170 gigabytes of data per second. However, it is worth pointing out that the Xbox One will need 3 gigabytes of this RAM to run the operating system, in contrast to the PS4, which will only need a rumored 1 gigabyte. Both machines support up to 4K resolution, although the highest output you should expect for games is 1080p for the time being. As much as the two warring systems are different, the heart of the Xbox One and PS4 remain very similar. Both are running x86 octa-core CPUs, these are 8-core processors built by the same chipmaker, AMD. The Xbox One will run a heavily modified 8-core AMD processor, and the PS4 will utilise an x86-64 Jaguar CPU. The use of AMD in the Xbox One and PS4 is certainly a switch for both companies. Previously, Microsoft has used an IBM PowerPC processor, while Sony partnered with Toshiba and IBM on its own complicated cell processor that developers didn't warm to. Going around the back of the machines and you'll find both with an HDMI out and optical port. However, the Xbox One goes one better here with an additional HDMI port, something that you'll need to use if you're going to loop your cable box through the machine to utilize the TV recording functions. In terms of extra features, both machines are almost equal. PS4 and Xbox One both support game DVR, recording while you play. Both will utilize cloud for storage. They both support USB 3.0 and have gigabit ethernet and Wi-Fi support. The only unclear feature here is that the Xbox One supports external storage via USB, while this feature is unconfirmed on PS4. However, the PlayStation 4 does support Bluetooth 2.1, which is something that is missing from the Xbox One specifications. So that's the specs. Let us know which machine you'll be leaning towards and why in the comments below. In future shows, we'll be comparing the machine to launch games, cameras, controllers, and more. So hit subscribe now and join us again next Tuesday. Thank you.